What's up, fools? Welcome back. Today is Monday, October 9th, 2017. And today we are going to cover how to install, configure, and play Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition on PC. Many years ago, when Windows 10 was first released, I made a guide on Steam for how to get this working. But since that time, Windows has been updated multiple times. And now we have Xbox One controllers and, and some other changes have occurred to this game as well. So I figured now would be a good time to revisit this and walk you through how to set up your Xbox One controller and get this game working on the latest version of Windows 10. Keep in mind, at the moment, the current release of Windows 10 is the creator's update. So if you're watching this in the future uh, and there's been a new version of Windows, this may or may not work. So we're going to start here by just downloading and running the game directly from Steam. So we've got the download complete, and we're just going to select the game and click play. And you'll notice by default there'll be this tiny window that's 64, 640 by 480 resolution. So we're just going to kick this off to make sure that the game actually functions as is. So in this case, we've just using the keyboard to get through to make sure the game starts up. And as we can see, the game does start up and run just fine. It's really, really difficult to control, though. Um, so next step, we're going to get the controller configured. So we're going to exit out of here. Uh, you may have to hit F4. You may have to go to Task Manager and kill the process to get this window to close. But uh, get the window closed. And then we're going to want to go to the Nexus and go to the Devil May Cry 3 page and find the mod that's called Style Switcher. Check the links in the video description uh, to get to this location. But you want to download that Style Switcher mod. And once the mod has been downloaded here, we're going to just extract the mod and we're going to take all the files that are in the download for the mod and we're going to put those into the Steam install location for Devil May Cry 3. In my case, that location is D Game Steam, Steam Apps Common, Devil May Cry 3. So once we got those files copied over, the next step we're going to want to run the install.bat script. And that's going to make some backups and give you this menu here uh, to select a loader. Now we're going to pick option number one, which is dsound.dll. You need to make this selection if you're using an Xbox One controller. If you're going to use the keyboard, then you could just use zero. And once that's done, it's going to make uh, backups of some of your files and, and do some work. So next, we need this X Input Plus program. And the page is in a uh, Oriental language that I don't understand. But uh, you can go to Google Translate here and select English uh, to get the English translation. But we want to download that X Input Plus and once we've got that, we're going to extract it and then open up the folder that was extracted. And we're going to want to run the X input plus.exe program. Once we got this, we're going to click the select button and we're going to navigate to the dmc3se.exe file in Steam, which in my case is D Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Devil May Cry 3. And just like the EXE, and then we're going to click the direct input tab and check the checkbox that says enable direct input output. And then from here, we're going to select the LT slash RT drop down, and we're going to pick button 11 and 12. Then we're going to select the drop down in the guide section. And we're going to pick button 13. And then from here, we're going to apply. Click OK on the dialog to patch the game. And then click Quit. Once that's done, we need to go back to the Devil May Cry 3 folder from Steam and open up the X input plus.ini. And then from here, we need to navigate down to a specific section in this configuration file. And we're looking for the X2D input section. And then from here, we've got a couple of these values need to be reversed. So look for the values that are LS underscore X and LS 
underscore y. And we just need to change it so that ls underscore x is equal to the y axis and ls underscore y is equal to the x axis. So save this file and then we can close this configuration file. And then we need to go into the style switcher.ini file and in the display settings we're going to change the default resolution from 720p to 1080p. So in this case, I'm going to change this from 1280 by 720 to 1920 by 1080, uh, leaving the frame rate capped at 60 frames per second. And we're going to click Save. And there are lots of settings that you can configure in here, but I wouldn't recommend messing with any of these yet until you know that the game is working the way you want it to be. But refer to documentation for all those advanced settings. Okay, so then we're going to open up the dmc3se.ini. If you don't have this file, create this file. If this file has contents in it, then delete all the contents and paste in these contents. This configuration will only work for Xbox One controllers. It will not work for uh, Xbox 360 or any other controller. So you can Google around to get the setting for Xbox 360 or the other controllers if you've got other controllers. So now we're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel and we're going to go to program settings and we're going to go add and then we're going to pick Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition and we're going to change a couple of these settings in here to help with screen tearing. First we're going to set the anti-aliasing FXAA. We're going to turn that on so the visuals are a lot cleaner. And then we're going to go to Threaded Optimization and turn that on. And then we're going to go to Triple Buffering and turn that on. And we're going to go to Vertical Sync and force that on as well. Okay, once that's done, we should be ready to play. So click the play button. And now the game should launch in 1080p. And the controller should now work, and uh, the controls are now responsive and usable. Okay, so we're almost there. So next thing we want to do is fix the button prompts. So the button prompts are always correct Xbox One buttons and not key keyboard controls. So we're going to go back to the Nexus, and we're going to look for this mod Xbox One and 360 controller button icon mod. So once we're in here, we're going to go and select the Files tab. And we're going to find the download here for Xbox One and download this mod. And once we got the mod downloaded, we're just going to open up this modded zip file here. And we're going to go into the native ROM folder. And we're going to go back into the mod and select all the files in the mod and drag those files into the native ROM, overwriting any existing files. Now that we've got this done, we should be fully modded and you should be able to enjoy the game properly. This mod should scale to a lot of different resolutions. I'm on a 21 by 9, 3440 by 1440 monitor, though I have not tried that resolution, so I don't know how well that works. But I have played through the whole game in 1080p uh, a couple of years ago. So I hope this, this video was helpful for you. We'll talk to you guys later.